and welcome back. Thank you for joining us today for our cool down. So hopefully you've had a great main session. Uh, heart rate is very high or slightly elevated. Hopefully you're nice and warm, a little bit of sweat, rosiness in the cheeks. What we're going to do now is bring this into a cool down. So this is to help prevent any injuries. Yeah. Um, so best time to do our static stretching, which I'm going to take you through, is at the end of the workout, when the blood flow has happened, muscles are nice and warm. So your muscles are like elastic bands. The warmer they are, the more they stretch. That's why you should never stretch at the start of a session. Yeah. So first thing we're going to do then is just a little bit of a pat out with the legs into those reverse shoulder rolls. So shoulders up to the earlobes, and retracting them back. Whew. Good. From here, gently taking arms in and out of the body. Lovely stuff. So do start to focus on your breathing. I brought a chair with me today for this session, so you're more than welcome to use a chair as well. This is just for more balance and stability. From here team, arms out to the side, make sure you feel your hip distance apart, hips stay facing forwards, rotating side to side. So you're more than likely to have done this in your warm up, so in the cool down now you should be able to see that improved range of motion, you should be able to go a little bit further, yeah? Again, the benefits of doing this after exercise. Really opening up those lower back muscles. Good. Hands on hips, small circles to the left. Good. Change direction. Perfect. So for our stretches today, we're going to hold these between 15 and 20 seconds. There are also some stretches we can do which we call developmental stretches, which you can hold for 30 seconds plus. We're not going to focus on those today because of timing, uh, but it's definitely something we can talk about on a little bit more of a one-to-one -one with you. Yeah. So if you do sort of want any one-to-one -one, uh, reports, you're more than welcome to talk to your advisor and we can get these booked in. Good. So we're going to start from lower body to upper body. Going to start first with our hamstrings, so back part of the thigh. So side on, I'm going to use this chair. We're going to put a slight bend in the right knee, take our heel forwards, toes towards the ceiling. I'm going to hinge from my hips and lean over, push my bum as far back as I can to feel that pull. The reason I'm not just dropping all the way down is because I'm trying to keep my spine nice and neutral. If you do want to place your hands on your thigh, you're more than welcome to. You should be feeling this stretch down the back part of your leg. Remember, spine aligned. If you're not using the chair, you can place both hands on. Just remember though, if you do have achy joints, especially through the knees, you are going to be putting pressure through these knees. So if you need that support, use it. Swapping legs then for me, so slight bend in the left, extend the heel, hinging from your hips, pushing that glutes back, keeping the spine nice and neutral. Remember, opening up the back part of the thigh. Very nice. Perfect, from here, slowly standing up. We're just going to pat that out, so every time we're just going to manoeuvre the feet, yeah? Perfect. We're now going to use the chair or a wall. We're going to do the quadriceps stretch. So, first is foot into hands, knees together, opening up the front part of the thigh. This looks a lot easier than it being done. So, if you need to, if you've got trousers, you can pull on your trouser leg. You can pull on your shoe or your sock. If you're really starting to struggle, you can even use like a towel or a band. You pull it behind your shin and then gently pull up. Yeah? So next time you come around to do this, if you've got a towel, towel around the ankle and you can pull the towel up instead. Good. 
I would still always use that support here. If you can do it without, it's just improving the core muscles. Good. Relaxing that down. Paddling the legs out. Swapping legs. So again, I'm going to use the band, and it's pulling up, knees together. Yeah. So try and keep in those knees together. Standing as upright as you can. If you are with someone in the house, please try and focus on me rather than talking because oh, nearly went. As soon as you talk more, the more your balance gets swayed. And relaxing that down. Good. Again, paddling those legs out. Good. So from here, we're actually going to take our feet about a shoulder and a half width apart. We're now going to turn your left leg so your toe is facing that way. Your right foot is still facing forwards. From here, hands on hips, we're going to lean across. Again, if you need a support aid, feet position, leaning across. Opening up your inner thigh. If you want to as well, you can take this arms out and we call this the warrior pose. Good. Coming back to centre. Swapping sides now. So, right toe facing out. Left foot facing forwards. Pushing across. Feeling it through the inner thigh. Again, if you want to, you can hit into that warrior pose. Arms out. And that focusing on your breathing. Long, deep breaths. Beautiful. Bringing it central. Shuffle the feet in again, hip distance apart, and paddle the legs out. Beautiful. Next one. Again, you might need to use the chair. I'm going to do without first. Pulling left leg up, holding onto the shin, pulling as high as you can. So it's opening up your glutes. Again, if you're doing it, one handed and hold. You can do this also lying on the floor, which I will do a session. Um, so do look out for it while I'll do a lot more sort of floor stretches. And you can do this on a regular basis at home, not just after one of our sessions. We'll take you through a full floor routine. Swapping legs. So I'm going to do it without the aid this time. Again, focusing on a spot, focusing on that breathing, opening up the glutes. Thinking about keeping that belly button nice and tight as well. And relaxing that leg down. Paddle out again. This time, we're going to push our left heel back into the floor, slight bend in the knee. We're going to interlock our hands to separate our shoulder blades, drop our chin into our chest, and really push away. So we're opening up the calf muscle, so back part of the leg at the bottom, and we're opening up the back part of the shoulders and your upper back right now. Beautiful, swapping the legs, pushing back. This time, we're gonna push our arms as far back as we can. So it looks like we are a superhero. So opening up now the chest muscles, front part of the shoulders. Again, opening up the back part of your calf. So, lower part of your leg, sorry. Your calf muscle. Beautiful. From here, paddle those legs out, shaking those arms out. Feet hip distance apart, left arm across the body, gently with your right hand pushing up bicep towards your chest. From this position, turn your head into your left shoulder. You're getting a stretch through the shoulder now and your neck. And this one for me feels like heaven. Swapping arms.
Perfect. From head to hip, hands out. Gently pushing down or pulling down on the fingers of your left arm just to open up the forearm and also ligaments and tendons will run over between the forearm and your bicep. Oh, that's heaven. That is lovely. Just be careful though, like, if you do have uh, severe arthritis um, in your wrist, in your fingers, even in your elbow, just be careful of how much pressure you are putting down. And swap arms. Good stuff. From here, take your feet shoulder and a half distance apart. Slight bend in the knee, hands up. I'm going to take the right hand. You can either aim for the left shin or you can come as far down towards the foot. Just focusing on your breathing, holding it there. Swap sides. So remember you can just come to the shin if you need to. Beautiful. From here, taking your time, shuffle feet back in. Very nice, just some small rotations side to side. Into some small reverse of shoulder rolls. Arms down at the side. So you can either sit or stand. And we're just gonna three big deep breaths in. So and release. One more. One final time, big deep breath in. And release. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me for today's cool down. Wish you all the best and hopefully we'll see you all again soon. Very well.